And as a matter of introduction, I just want to mention a quote from uh, Dr. Yamagiwa, which I think relates precisely to the context of the symposium and the new partnership. I believe that conserving nature starts with creating bonds with each other. Gorillas, hunters, and gatherers, and people from various countries, including Japan, should be egalitarian in expanding this bond with each other. Dr. Yamagiwa, please, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's my great pleasure to be here with you. And uh, thank you very much for the word in Patrick and for welcoming us. And thank you very much for His Excellency, Mr. T. Walker, um, joining us uh, this morning. It's my great pleasure. And I would like to introduce, firstly, my university, Kyoto University. And then I will hold um, something from my field to collaborate with uh, uh, Gold Finishing Courage. It's on. This is on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, can you hear me? So yeah. 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 Okay. Right. And Kyoto University um, was established in 1897, just the similar time of uh, Gold Finishing Courage. And uh, um, we had 23,000 students, both uh, undergraduate and graduate, and uh, including into, um, 2,000 international students at present. And we have 10 faculties, 18 graduate schools, and it's the um, most important thing. We have 35 research institutes and centers within Japanese island. And we have 7,000 faculty and staff members, including 400 and international staffs. But it's the number of international staff is still very small, so we need to increase in the future. And outside of Japanese island, um, we have many um, overseas branch offices and other offices and um, facilities. We have 57 um, overseas offices, especially in Asia, in Africa. And we have all over the world um, 168 MOUs. And we have um, 114 student exchange programs, um, exchange uh, you know, um, collaborations with uh, universities overseas. And annually, um, from abroad, about 2,000 students coming to Kyoto University and um, about 3,000 researchers coming to our university. And from our university, about 8,000 researchers going to abroad and about 2,800 students going to abroad, including uh, Britain. And The mission statement of Kyoto University, academic freedom in self-reliance and self-respect, free thinking and discussion, diverse and interdisciplinary approach, creation of new concepts and research, cutting-edge research, of course, and exploration and field work. And the final aim of our activity to contribute to harmonious coexistence within the human and ecological community in this time. And we have many laureates who have ever um, received international prizes and needless to, to introduce. And one thing I would like to um, um, strengthen one of the Um, our spiritual base made by Kinji Manishi, the late professor of Kyoto University, and he was the famous alpinist. And he said, let's step the virgin peak, not only 
as an alpinist, but as a scientist. So his expedition always included scientific research work and in alp alpinist um, activities. And his descendant divided into very wide area of studies, such as human evolution, diversity, uh, universality of culture, and you, you know, my measure, primatology, um, was one small part of those kind of studies. <coughs> and uh, when I was a student of the University, I started my career as a primatologist in Africa to study gorillas, my friend's gorillas. And my measure is anthropology, and from primatological view. And since I studied um, the present job in Kyoto University, I um, presented um, my concept of future Kyoto University. Window concept. Envisioning the university as a window opening into society and the world at large. That is my concept. And window, the initial is I put in both two um, initiatives. Wide and wise. Student must be wise, but also must be <laughs> wide. International and innovative, natural and noble, diverse and dynamic, original and optimistic, and women leaders in the workplace. That was our uh, goal. So I prefer to provide the opportunity for the student to um, get the experience of exploration and field work, especially in undergraduate schools. And we increase the number of exchanges in international um, studies. And one of them, one of our trials recently, um, I would like to um, provide you, Iris Singer. Its aim is to provide first year students with the opportunity to experience cutting edge research. So, the first way I introduced, we have 37 um, research centers and cent uh, uh, institutes. So, um, about one fourth of our faculty staffs are working at the, those institutes and centers. So they have no obligation to educate undergraduate students. So we request those researchers to have a very short seminar or educational opportunities to foster the first year student to introduce their cutting edge research work. That is very important for the first year student to know what is research actively. And its concept is small classes, 5 to 25 students in, this, in the one class, the learning through discussion. Discussion is very important. The number of calls we provided now, we provided now about 300 um, courses, including several uh, overseas courses. And another one is Omoro Challenge Program. These days, undergraduate students are not active, are not positive to go go. So we providing um, them the opportunity and to finance them to go go by their own approach. So to foster wisdom and an advan advan adventurous spirit in students as the professor mentioned. And customized by each student, experience-based learning program is the main step. And it's very short period, three weeks or more. And destination is anywhere in the world. And Omoro Challenge Program 
I forgot to explain Omoro. Omoro means in Japanese interesting, unique, funny, many meanings. But you know, students by their own to get their own interest in the subject. That is very important. And Omoro Child Program is uh, organized by Kyoto University to provide the chance. Um, student to go anywhere. And Hakubi project is um, one of the most important programs to employ um, the cutting edge young researchers as the staff members in Kyoto University. Um, employment period is five years. And um, research environments that allows research researchers to devote themselves to their studies. They have no educational obligations. Five years only to um, concentrate their own study. Um, we aid them to research in anywhere, not only in Kyoto uh, campus, university's campus, in yeah. Abro, that's all. Okay. And now at at present, in Kyoto University, we have three departments to study and educate arts. One is in uh, aesthetic and art history in faculty and graduate school at Rebels. And second is in graduate school of Advanced Integrated Studies in Human Survivability. Maybe I hope uh, Professor uh, now Tosa will explain later at that course. And Design School at um, Graduate School Reading Program. And three uh, courses are now ongoing. But, oh yes. In a graduate school of integrated and advanced studies in Kyoto University, have the concept of eight thoughts. In Japanese, hashi. It's um, composed eight thoughts, different thoughts. So, in that eight thoughts, we find we can find art section. In which Professor Tosa. Uh, is now um, reading this project. But we need more. Artistic abilities is very important now education and research in the university. So I studied um, several uh, events in Kyoto University since two years ago. And it's called Kyoto University Omoro Talk. Omoro means interesting, unique, and funny. And quest for artistic university. Because we have very few artistic programs inside Kyoto University. And that is three to four times events in a year. And we invite um, Omoro artists outside of Kyoto University. The first thing I invited um, Kyogen Prayer. Kyogen is the, a kind of comedy um, between no, the traditional uh, performance um, in Kyoto, and uh, the famous performer Sanzaburo Shigeyama and showed us his original play. And you know, this is Gorilla. He imitated Gorilla performance in his play, in his performance. And I explained why and how he um, endeavored to imitate religious behavior from a planetary sphere. And we combined another artist like uh, Tosa. She presented her concept of, he, of her art, like a uh, um, project mapping. And another time, we invited um, Yasumasa Morimura. He is famous as his um, arts as um, self-portrait. 
So you can imagine he performed who this guy through Che Guevara, Marilyn Monroe, and Einstein. <laughs> this is one of them. You can understand who and what he did. And another time we invited uh, an art, Chinese artist, Sai Kokyo. And he was, he was very famous as his art with gunpowder. And his art like this, and the ladder to the head. And finally, my work suggests me something on arts, origin of arts. I guess the origin of art was assertion and communication as a function. You know, this is called a display, chest beating. And this is a famous traditional performance in Kabuki in Japan. You know, its meaning very similar. But performance is very really different. You know, but you know, performance is very similar. Why? At the beginning of Kabuki was about 300 years ago. But at that time, Japanese people did not know the presence of police. So Japanese people um, originated this kind of performance, brilliant, independent. But why is similar? You know, bipedal walk is very important for human being, not only as walking, but also as performance, self-assertion. Robot, human being, and grid. How you compare? How you understand? The difference, <coughs> difference is very important for communication. Dancing, as the word and Patrick um, indicated, is very important for us to communicate as an empathy and sympathy we use in our own life. Music is also very important for us, but how and why? That's, we must think, we must look back to our original history. You know, recently, Agency of Cultural Affairs of Japanese government will move to Kyoto within three years. So it is very important things, our um, citizens, Kyoto and Kyoto University. How we organize such as um, changes recently. Kyoto University opened office in Tokyo last year. And this year, also, Kyoto Academic Forum we opened in just next door of Kyoto, uh, Tokyo office. And this is association of 10 universities who, which are concerned with artistic education and research and cultural studies and education. So we must associate each other to present not only our traditional arts and culture, but also creative arts and culture in the future, in the window of Tokyo. So lastly, I'd like to present my thought in the future. Our collaboration between science and art is very important for social contribution. You know, science is based always on evidence, and art is based on imagination. Both are very important human characteristics. And we need more technology to adjust such kind of you know, movement. <coughs> so we will create, in our collaboration, the new things, new concepts and new research work, and such the most contributable 
our activities to the society. Thank you very much.